I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. Twenty twenty one Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body with Launch Control. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Oh man, that's fast. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Door. 797 horsepower, 707 pound-feet of torque from a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And instead of doing some turns at TMP Cayuga, I've decided I'm going to do some donuts. So yeah, that makes sense in this car. Oh, it definitely passes the donut test. <laughs> let, let me try to do one big one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is pretty sick. That's why they call me Yuri take over Tereshin. <laughs> no, nobody calls you that. All right, let's go back onto the road. And by back, I mean forward for the first time. If you're shopping for a new Dodge Charger, click the True Car link in the top right corner to get discounted price offers. And for everyone watching, when's the last time you actually clicked the subscribe tab on your YouTube? If it's been over a month, you might as well click subscribe, throw us in there, and never look at us again. Driving this is the most fun. Anytime you floor, you get that So much power all the time. This is the coolest experience that is going away since everyone's going EV soon. Yeah, and Stellantis just announced all their EV plans. They're going to have an EV muscle car, which is gonna be some form of this thing. It's gonna be totally it's, it's, different. Is it gonna have a Hem E? Oh, we'll have to see about that. But this thing is absolutely perfect for the time that we're currently living in. This Hellcat Red Eye has a bunch of demon parts on it, like the supercharger, which is borrowed from the demon. We have a bunch of demon stuff like the transmission. We have several demon parts which make this thing the most unreal street and track experience pretty much exactly the same as the red eye challenger that we also reviewed a couple years ago yeah except we now have it with four doors basically do you really notice the difference in this compared to the regular hellcat not really no and you can't get a manual in a charger but you can get a hellcat wide body manual in a challenger that's right and it's i use none Red eye. And I usually don't really like sedans, but I love this so much. It's so wide. Starting with the looks, we've got this in Raisin Hell. Uh, hell Raisin, Yuri. I thought it was Raisin Hell. No, it's Hell Raisin. Get it? Because it's Raisin? Yeah, but I thought it was Raising Hell. No. But Raisin, because purple. But anyways, yeah, anyways, it looks pretty good. Not my ideal color. I would go with that cool blue color. Yeah, or even Plum Crazy, which we had on the Challenger, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I like, I like the brightness to it. But I mean, a car like this, you kind of want to go under the radar. And I oh, think this yeah. is actually a great color for that. Yeah, but the front end looks so menacing. All like, real vents? Jeez. Like, you just, <laughs> you see the wide body fenders from the front beside the headlights. It's kind of like the TRX thing and like the Raptor thing. And then we've got the really cool headlights up there. We've got a lot of scoops, a lot of intakes on the hood. Under the hood, we have a supercharged Hemi. Yeah, with the 2.7 liter supercharger from the Demon. Okay, let's hear what a supercharger sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this gets awful gas mileage. Yes, the answer to gas mileage is yes. It's, it's so bad, but so worth it, because this is kind of just like a weird engineering like show car. It's not supposed to be practical. If someone's like, the gas mileage is bad, it's like, it's not meant for that. You have 800 horsepower. And then exhaust sound, going through tunnels, this will change your life. After going through under a tunnel, I want this more than pretty much any car ever. Yeah, the exhaust sound is unreal. It is so violent. And if you're standing in front of the tunnel, you hear the supercharger. When it passes you, all you hear is that violent exhaust. Sounds like a god dang hurricane. Let's take a listen to the outside. And then back to look, side view, we've got the normal charger body line, which I think is really cool. Fender flares look awesome. Yeah, they look amazing. Last time I tricked a bunch of people saying we had the Hellcat, but really I just showed the fenders on my Honda Element. Because <laughs> it was a burgundy one. That <laughs> were were they actually tricked? Yeah, no, people were like, oh, I thought you had a Hellcat. Because it looks exactly the same. Yeah, well, we got sick wheels on this one, super wide, unlike so, your uh, Element. So sick, so deep dish, and we've got orange brake calipers, but what would be the Continental recommended tire? The, the Continental Extreme Contact Sport. 
And having these Brembo's, like stopping after we did our launches and stuff, we did do a cool drag race short. Check that out. Yeah, and we also did a full quarter mile, and this thing stopped on a dime after. I don't know about a dime, but like, <laughs> no, I, I felt very confident in the braking system. Yes. And back to looks, the back end. Super beefy from the back end. The taillights just kind of make it look even wider as well. Yeah, perfect taillights. Everyone's kind of been copying them with the lines all across, but this is just like a legendary look. And then we got perfect exhaust tips. Like everything's great back there. Like nothing to complain about. You know, these are the same taillights since Fast and Furious did that Fast and Furious with the vault heist. Really? They've been running the same taillights. Like, talk about a company that figured it out and kept it going. And talking about Fast and Furious, you owe me a 10 second car. This is a 10 second car, according to Dodge. Now that's a very difficult number to actually achieve in the real world. Yeah, because this has so much power that it's really hard to launch properly. But I mean, they built the Demon. This is for kind of like drag racing stuff. If you want to get that really low quarter mile. Ish. <laughs> it's definitely low in comparison to like most cars, but it's just so hard to get that number. Okay, and then to finish off the looks, our doors, they've got little buttons, so it's not just proximity touch, but it's been really easy to use. Yeah, I mean, it's a door handle. And then the keys too. You get a red key to unlock all 797 horsepower, but then you can also have a black key that gets you only down to like 500 horsepower. Yeah, and you can also change that through the infotainment, even driving with the red key, but why would you ever do that? Yeah, if you do have 500 horsepower, so. <laughs> you can still use 797 in the winter, just slightly less throttle. So looks wise, this or a Challenger Hellcat Red Eye? I mean, I think this, it's just, it's four doors. It's hilarious to look at. I think this now. A wide body four door sedan. I, I, and I don't even like sedans. Yeah, exactly. I love sedans, so I mean, I'm sold obviously. And then how about this looks wise compared to an E63 sedan? Uh, this, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Is there any sedan that looks cooler than this? No. No, <laughs> no. That, that, that settles it. Yeah. Okay, let's get you behind the wheel do some launches, maybe some skids, and then talk about all the other cool features in here. I'm not gonna use launch control, I'm gonna use burnout control, AKA my right foot. Oh, we should warm up the tires with a line lock first. We probably should. <laughs> that's way better than launch control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's amazing. I should probably do a couple little donuts as well. How about we do it clockwise instead of my counterclockwise? Well, I always like to go left. We've got to even out the tire wear, bro. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go to the other way then. This is not my usual way. Might be thrown off here. No, I'm still the burnout master and drift master. Come on. I am the king. Whoa, 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 what happened there? Still going. <laughs> all right, let's head out onto the road. <laughs> Perfect one, as always. So now that I've got that out of my system, <laughs> you can never this, fully get this out of your system. No, you don't. I just want this back into my system all the time. Like, just ah, inject it into my veins. Like, God, this car is amazing. Okay, but say we had to drive it gently. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's put it to auto. All right, so auto, super chill mode. The revs are dropping. Our ZF 8-speed is in the lowest gear. Actually, not, I'd say the highest gear. It's not that loud. No, it's really not. And it's like, pretty comfortable, like, bouncy-wise. Yeah, the suspension's actually really, really well damped. You can put it into track mode. It gets a little bit bouncy, but you have options, which is great, because this adaptive suspension is awesome. I feel like this is a lot more dailyable than the Challenger, not only because of the four doors. Yes. But for some reason. But then also, these seats combined with the suspension, it's like, race couch. It, this is exactly race couch. This, this is awesome. It's perfect. So you guys are probably wondering why we haven't talked about turns yet. Um, I mean, it's a Hellcat. It's a red eye. It's a wide body. It can turn. Does it turn very well? Not really. Does it need to? Not really. It still has this. And yes, that was basically in comfort mode. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that you can just like kind of floor it whenever and, and it'll just still give it the beans. Yeah, but the steering is actually quite good. It's quite really nice. good, really good. And it is fully adjustable through the infotainment. We have track support and custom. Yuri and I have basically just left this in custom because that's the best mode. Yeah, we just have our suspension and our traction in sport. Street. Street? Street. Street. But okay, I was driving this in the rain because it was a very rainy week here up in Toronto. Yeah, it was. And um, it was fine. I just had like full normal traction on and you floored it. It goes, Meow! and then it just chills out. It like, it does a really good job of keeping you in the on the road. Right, exactly. And like the real world stuff, that's what they want to know because Dodge claims this can do zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. That's really, really hard to actually do. Just like the quarter mile time. 
Yeah, seventeen foot rollout, on a prep <laughs> surface. Yeah, just kidding. I don't, I don't know what the details are. No, exactly. But daily driving this, fantastic. Like gobs of power. Who cares about the gas mileage? It drives so great. Race couch this is perfect. Okay, and then as for backseat room, we both fit there perfectly fine. Yeah, this would be a great taxi. And we got a bunch of trunk room. Cup holders are fantastic. We've got visors that probably extend. Oh yeah, this is probably double. Three, two, one. Full pass and extension. Boom. And the only thing that I don't like about this is the reverse camera. It looks like someone held the lighter to it and burnt it. The reverse camera is terrible. But they're all like that. Yes. And like, we didn't, we're not surprised. We're just like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's really bad, but do you care? No. And then my other criticism, again, my only criticism is I wish the drive modes were just actual physical buttons. We do have the SRT button to get to them, but then they're all through the touchscreen. And then we do have performance pages, but that's something you're going to do when you have multiple sets of tires to roast and test stuff out when this car would be yours. And that you have time for the performance pages to load because yeah. it takes forever <laughs> and in defense of the drive modes being so difficult I think it's good because you really should like really be sure you want to turn everything off to do dumb stuff if you want to do dumb stuff yeah no that's fair but at least we do have a button to turn off our dumb stuff and turn on our dumb stuff aka our traction control that is a hard button but let's talk about some of the cool features that we have in here we do have a chiller so we can actually cool down the supercharger after you've done launches and stuff like that it'll also send AC to to the supercharger, redirecting it out of the cabin when you have it in track mode. So this thing's just built for the track. And then we have line lock, which you guys already saw. That's pretty cool. And then we have our different RPM that we could set for our launch control. We had that set at 1500. That's pretty much where you have to leave it. And it's still like not perfect. I think you really need to do like line lock, prep surface, know what you're doing to really take full advantage of it or else it's gonna be like kind of soft off the start, but then Yep. <laughs> Some more quick interior stuff. We do have carbon fiber. It is an optional package. I do really like it. It is matted out. I don't mind it. <laughs> Anything to help save weight in something that's Is it real heavy. carbon fiber though? Yeah, obviously it costs a lot of money. And then we do have the worst paddles probably of any manufacturer. Okay, they're not that bad because we do have the radio buttons behind the steering wheel and that is like the best feature ever. Cleans up the steering wheel nicely. No, it needs proper paddles. Uh, we can set up shift lights for here, but it's like a red flash and everything's kind of red. The, the tack is red on red. It's hard to see. This is an automatic launching car, basically. Yeah, like, just yeah. leave it in auto. But if you want to just like rip around, then the paddling is pretty fun. Right. And I would call this a safety feature. You can actually see every individual digit of speedometer because it, you go so fast in this thing. Yeah, I love like, the speedometer. It's great. Every digit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of manufacturers don't do that. They're like, oh, you only need to see every fifth digit or something. I don't know. Yeah, but depending on the Dodge or Stellantis yeah, like product, or or some or of them something. are not, they're a little bit laggy, so I don't know what's going on at some of these companies. People saying my Maserati's cheap. Where's your Maserati then, huh? If you don't get that, then... It's TikTok. Everyone hates the Maserati guy. There you go. So I feel like that's kind of everything with the Hellcat Red Eye. I mean, this is just... That, that is that, everything about yes. the Hellcat Red Eye. Yes, I, like we really don't need to go into more depth than that. Like this is just... I. Anyway, so obviously we both want this car. We love this car. Let's get to the price. This one starts at $87,515. Canadian, great price. And this one is sitting at $116,685. Oh, bargain of the century. Yeah, you pretty much just have to get one of these because they're not gonna be around for very much longer. And like, this is probably a lot cooler than like a 392. Oh, remember the title of our 392 video, do not drive a Hellcat before buying one of those. It's 100% yeah. it's true. This is the best, I want one. Okay, would you take this over a Challenger Hellcat manual non-red eye? I've been racking my brain thinking about that. I think, oh man, I I'd still go, don't I'd go, I'd go manual Challenger. No, you, I, you don't like that shifter? I had a lot of fun with that. I totally get that and I love the fact that it's manual and I think we should be preserving V8 rear wheel drive supercharged manuals, but I really like the sedan aspect of this. I think I'm gonna make my final decision, and it's this. This or M2 CS manual? This. I like, the M2 CS is a better driver's car, but the type of driver that I am, <laughs> it's this. This is hard, it's, that, that, that I can't decide. Yeah, cause like, going to the track, I would just take this to the drag strip, have so much fun, just chill with my boys and then just go home and like that's it. Whereas by drag strip you mean intersection. No, no. I and by boys you mean fireworks. No, I definitely mean. And drag by strip. chill you mean gasoline strip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely mean drag strip at Toronto Motorsports Park. But I, it'd just be so much fun to just drag this car all the time. 
Yeah. I would actually just go demon if I could. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Demon overall, for sure. Okay. We, we agree with that? Yes, fully agree. And if you're shopping for a new Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body and you live in the United States, click the True Car link below. There's a discount when using the Straight Pipes link. You can also shop for used Dodge Chargers using True Car. And if you live in Canada, there's a Car Help Canada link below.